each iteration I'll be removing the lowest bit from the uh, from x because I have already f3 of i would compute from x to the lowest bit of x so I can now remove the lowest bit and compute the result after that to log n which is correct because I am removing one bit at a time and uh, after log n bits I am I'll op, means I'll exceed the n, n range that is n, n can at most be represented in uh, sealed log n bits Okay, so uh, the lines of code is again four, which is what makes this data structure really quick, really cool. And how many relevant lines? Probably this. <laughs> Others all are just probably basic bookkeeping. So, so complexity log n memory theta n. I'm I'm declaring an extra array f3, which is theta n. So, but again, theta n is already used for a. So, if I can use theta n for a, I of course can use theta. N. That is, I'm essentially using two n memory and not asymptotically greater memory like some structures use n log n memory and all stuff. So, uh, code length, couple of lines. Please always use this as choice of implementation unless it requires some other data structure. That is, once you probably practice two or three problems using Fenvictory, you will have a very, very good hunch about when to use Fenvictory and when not to. We'll try to cover it, but as long as you don't, you know, probably code one or two problems, I don't, uh, means I, I think that you get the intuition once you start coding problems. Next. All right, so I have left the update part, so I must do the update part. Uh, so I, I said, uh, the update that I'm going to do is update index to new val. I just want to convert it to update. I just want to convert it to add something to AFI instead of update. A AFI is equal to new val. I of course can write it as AFI is equal to uh, new val minus old val. AFI plus equal to new val minus old val. And I can convert my update statement into uh, plus delta form. Why I do that is because it becomes easier easier when we work with the Fenwick So, okay. So assume I am at node x and I am updating x. Let's say I am updating 13. Uh, so uh, 13 is what? 13 is 1101. One, I am updating 13. So 13 should. So uh, what all ranges will contain 13 is the question. So that is uh, what I said about uh, this naive solution that is the prefix sum solution was that if I update AI to another number every prefix sum which which depends on AI has to be updated which is theta n so when I update 13 I need every sum which every range so for example I to I minus low to power low bit of I uh, exclusive on the other side uh, uh, i to 2 minus low, low bit of i plus 1 th this range should contain 13 i must update every such interval so uh, it's a very easy exercise to note that uh, that the next interval would be that is how do i come to this this step i come to this step by doing a minus low bit so how do i go from this step for to the to the next higher level i do plus low bit so the only difference between that loop and this loop is of course uh, i'm doing a plus so this is x less than max val or max val is a maximum number of elements in the array you need not even uh, do it as a power of two you can just do it as uh, n where n is the number of elements and then i just do f3 of x plus equal to d it might take probably a minute or two for you to convince that this only these ranges only these ranges are the ones that are actually affected but uh, yeah I, I think it's fairly easy to figure that out uh, complexity complexity again uh, so what I'm doing yeah if if I add 2 to 2 I get 4 that is after and then I am adding 4 to 4 I get 8 so the number of operations I do will at most be log n that is I'll get log n operations if I'm working with the power of 2 otherwise I would not even get log n that is if I, if I add 1 to 1 I get 2 to 2, 2 I get 4 that is I'm adding a power of 2 and because I'm adding a power of 2 this at least this low bit would double so in, in log n operations I again would do this and I think as in, if you are not clear, you can just probably think of, think about it for a minute or two and you will probably get it. So code length, again, two lines. So totally, I have done an implementation of this data structure in five lines. Three for update, two for query, the uh, other way around. So, uh, which is great. Uh, so I, I'll just go to one problem. So 
if you re if you really need very quick summits and that really matters in ACM because uh, it is the sum of the points that uh, it's the sum of the points that is let's say there's an easy problem and I submit really quick then it, it has a multiplier effect because of how the rules are so uh, so you must so if you're aiming for a quick summit then uh, and if it's a problem with fin victory you should probably do it with Fenwick than go for segment the segment tree solves uh, an extended version of fin victory I will tell you when means at the end of the lecture I'll also tell you when to use segment and not Fenwick that is Fenwick cannot be used in a lot of applications but where they can be used they can be really quick so yeah we'll look at this problem this is a problem from top code SRM 424 uh, the problem name is product of prices so I'll give I'll I'll state the problem I don't think you I would I think I'd rather state the problem than have you read the problem statements so I'm given n trees n less than or equal to 2 e5 to 2 into 10 to the power 5 and I am also given the x coordinates of those trees there could be multiple trees at an x coordinate we just assume that they are vertically or horizontal some arbit convention that we follow so I'm given an array of x coordinates and I'm I'm given n such n and the number of elements in the array is 2 into 10 to the power 5 the cost of tree i I define the cost of tree i as uh, summation of xi minus xj for every j occurring before i in the array that is let's say uh, if the array is cost of tree i is summation j is equal to 0 to i minus 1 mod xi minus xj so for example if my uh, trees are at positions 10 to it is not sorted please note it's not sorted so if trees are at position 10 to 8 and 6 now the cost of this would be uh, mod 10 minus 2 which is 8 cost of this would be uh, 8 minus 2 6 plus 8 minus 10 2 which is 8 cost of this would be uh, that was a coincidence let's make this 9 and so uh, uh, 9 minus 2 7 plus 10 which is again eight. <laughs> let's make this 10 and uh, uh, now 10 uh, let's make this 11 okay uh, the idea is <laughs> the idea is okay uh, 6 plus 2 8 plus uh, okay uh, I have an issue there but let's just assume that the costs are you can compute the cost so uh, I have an invariant there so anyways uh, that uh, part so cost of 2 is 8 cost of 6 is again 8 because 6 minus 2 is 4 and 6 minus 10 is again 4 which is 8 so uh, this is how you define cost you cannot do an n squared and Shuman told you in the morning that you probably can do 1e8 operations or maybe 4e8 operations in uh, in one second on any standard comp please note for those of you who go to world finals the time limits are pretty lax so Means this is just a note only for world finals, not for regionals, not for any competition, not for any other competition. If you are going to world finals and if you think you have a solution which is probably you know 88 or something, you should probably try and submit it. This note applies only for world finals and not for any other contest. Uh, world finals, the time limits are almost always pretty lax. At least until now it has been that way. I don't know if they will change it from this year. So, uh, and this has been you know noted on top of the forums and a lot of places and still nothing has been done. So, their idea probably is to you know probably encourage this. That is, uh, as long as you have a good solution, you re need not really, as long as you have a solution with the right complexity, you need not really worry about your constants. All right, so uh, get, getting back to this problem, okay, so we have two. I tend to say 2e5 and any of you who uses C++ would understand that 2e5 is 2 into 10 power 5. So from now on I would be using the form xey when it means x into 10 power y. So I have 2e5 nodes and I must find cost of 3i. Naive way to do it would be find for each i which would be theta n squared and uh, by that this way it will be 4 into 10 power 10. 4 into 10 power 10 would obviously not work because it would take probably 4 into 400 seconds so uh, you need something better if you need something better to make it run in less than one second of course uh, and another property that is given is each coordinate is between uh, 1 and 2 e 5 find the product of cost of all trees but yeah our return a vector of cost okay uh, find the product of cost of all trees or uh, that is uh, I means this is all top color problem and because n was large top color typically tend to uh, make it uh, that is they, they do not like very large return types because it will it puts a load on the server so uh, find the product of cost of all trees and if you if it's the sum of cost of all trees there is a very very big simplification to which which you can probably do as a homework exercise so coming back to this uh, product of cost of all trees whenever you are given with an absolute sign 
first thing you must do is remove the absolute sign. Absolute signs almost always uh, tend to get messy, so please remove that. The first thing you must do is remove the absolute sign. So, assume I want to find for i. What he's saying is, find the sum of all elements greater than i. Define my query as sum of all elements greater than xi and sum of all elements less than xi. And then answer would answer would be sum of all elements less than xi into my so okay if if x let's say sum of all elements le, le, greater than less than xi is s less and sum of all elements greater than xi is s great and number of all elements less than xi is n less and number of all elements greater than xi is ngt so uh, then I can write this sum for xi as s less minus n less into xi that is huh? oh, uh, uh, n, less, n less minus xi that is minus s less plus n less minus xi and uh, I can that is one part of the sum and the second part of the sum would be uh, uh, less, uh, n minus ngt into xi plus x plus sgt is everyone clear with this? That is, I'm just removing the uh, absolute sign, the modulus. That is, if you're if you're having a problem with modulus, almost always, as in, it's kind of a rule of thumb that divide it into greater and lesser and remove the modulus. So the problem re reduces to efficiently finding S less, SGT, N less, and NGT. Any ideas? I think that, that can be done, yeah. And uh, similarly, some also can also be, some also can be, can be pre-processed. This actually comes to the next lecture, which is augmenting data structures, but, okay, uh, so can you tell me how much lines of code would you write for this? Right, will be pretty long. Uh, how much? This uh, was a top coder problem. So top coder is a contest which is one hour, one hour, 15 minutes. So how many lines of code do you think if you, what he's doing is he's implementing a balanced binary search tree. Each node also defines the size of the subtree below it and also the sum of the values. That is each node has an associated values. He stores the values and uh, the and the size of the subtree and with that, that is all the information you need to compute these elements. So, uh, yeah. I have a question. Uh, how do you take care that the binary search tree is uh, actually balanced? So I am, I implement agent. Okay, you are implementing agent. So, so during the uh, rotation, how do you update the uh, cost here? Yeah. We can update the cost in order. Okay. Basically, his point is that when you do that, the number of lines of code would be. Yeah, really goal. So, uh, uh, code. This problem was solved in five minutes. Let's say you sort by x. You will have to use some complicated data structure to do a query which says what is the sum of all elements less than or equal to i, right? That is, you have two values. One is the index, one is the... So, means of course, it can be done with some uh, geometric data structures, but I would, as in, again, it would really go, it would just, the code size would balloon up. I think, I'm not really sure, but I think the total code size of this, even the editorial solution was about 10 to 15 lines. 
So, okay, I'll now describe the idea and then, yeah, so please note that this S less and S greater deals with sum and, okay, is there anyone who did not understand that as that formulation into this? That is how I removed the modulus. Okay, so uh, what? Uh, so let's assume that I am at I am at ith position, and these two elements are less than me, and this element is greater than me, right? So what you're doing is 